I blew that charge pipe off while going down the road. Hit about 30 PSI. I have it double clamped right there. Uh, the PVC is actually holding its roundness. With the heat and the clamping force, the PVC loses its roundness. Whew. This son bitch looks like critter biscuits. I got a night sweeping 90 glued right here. I got another one down there at the bottom of the bed glued. <coughs> These do flawless. They hold the pressure great so far. They, there's no clamp changing the uh, circumference of the pipe. Um, I just did a little test. I got this little turbo cap off plate that came with this turbo. Um, I put it over the air intake, let it suck flat while it was idling. Everything that's glued, absolutely wonderful. Um, come up right here. I got my first rubber into 90, uh, back into rubber, back to metal. It did great. Didn't have a peep or a leak out of it. Now up here, <coughs> I got a, uh, what are these things called? Fur, fur cones. How do you pronounce it? Furco. Fernco. Fernco coupling. We got two 90s right there. They're flexible. They're soft rubber. They hold the pressure okay. They're not the most resilient after time. I'm just using them for now. Uh, got a 420, was this 22 and a half glued in? Does wonderful. Right here towards the turbo. Look at this guy. That damn pipe ain't round whatsoever. When I put that red cap on there and did that leak test, look what I determined. Blew the damn intake boot right open. It's amazing. I was making with this like that just now, not blown off. I was making enough boots to blow that pipe off to build 30 PSI. So I can't wait to get that fixed to see what happens. Well, I fixed that one and created a bigger one. <laughs> God dang, dude.